A new day, a new opportunity? Yes. yes. You're raring to go? Yes. The dazzling dozen? Is that what it is now? Yes. I can see women who are a little tired, yes, exhausted. We've put you through a lot, but I can definitely see young women who are far more confident than the first day that I met you all. Let me tell you that each and every second we meet Lara is like one of those precious moments, you know, because we get to learn loads of good things from Lara. What do you think your weaknesses are? I feel I lack a bit in communication skills. And what do you think your strength is? I think uh, I love being on the stage. So I hope you bring that to the finale because girls, today is going to be the last elimination for this season. So everyone who gets through today is going to go through to the final. Because at the end of the day, it is that one girl <laughs> that will wear the crown of Miss Diva 2015. Natasha, you have one aspect which I like, which is you don't take yourself too seriously. But you're also too laid back. I've been telling the girls, I've been telling Nancy, teach me how to talk, like, because she has a very political way of speaking. You have to work on it, because today's challenge is going to demand from you to not be laid back. Lara gave me an advice that I could seem laid back sometimes, but I only think that's because of the way I speak, because I'm not very intense, which I'm going to work on instead of, yeah, I'm going to say yes from now. Urvashi? Yeah. One of the main criticisms that you've constantly received through this entire show is the fact that some of us feel that you're trying too hard. It's come across sometimes as it's been read as overconfidence. And the panelists sitting there really thought that, you know, there was just too much, that you didn't need to have to put in so much. I really don't know why people are talking like that, but uh, to be honest, yes, I'm confident, but I'm not at all overconfident from the rest of your 11 contestants that are present with you, who do you think is your biggest competition right now, today? Nancy and Natasha Saadi are like, are my friends and I think they're competition as well. Okay, it's good. The idea behind these girls is not to make you all insecure about who feels what about me. The idea is to make you all perform, to make you all really bring your best. And to teach you how to fight today, I'm going to introduce you to somebody very, very special. I'm proud to say that she has been India's ambassador for this last one year. I want to introduce you to our reigning diva, Nayanita Lowe. First thing that grabbed my attention was her beautiful crown. She's here to help you and guide you through this. There's this one line that I remember Lara told me before I left. She said, don't judge your potential by the results. Each one of us are special and each one, I think, will get what we deserve. So, I just wish all you girls the best of luck and may the gir best girl win. Thank you. So our challenge for today, girls, is called Shot to Fame. Y'all will be shot by an ace photographer. Each girl will be given five frames in which to capture that one exceptional shot. Now, to make all of you already gorgeous women look even more stunning, I wanted to welcome a very, very special guest designer, Rocky S. <laughs> What do you think, in your mind, is today, in terms of fashion, the quintessential, modern, new generation Indian woman? Uh, the Rocky Star clothes are all about today's modern woman who holds on to tradition, but she's yet very there to take the world. Everyone wants to wear a Rocky S garment in life. Mein. Today's collection is basically all black and grey. Uh, everything is handcrafted. Feel great, enjoy yourself. Okay, girls, step into these fabulous dresses and I'm going to see you on the task floor in a few minutes. Girls, so we've got these wonderful scooters that have been placed around you. And this is going to be the stage on which you are going to shine. 
and you girls look absolutely stunning. <laughs> it was really amazing wearing his garments. They were beautiful, gorgeous. All of us were looking extremely pretty in that. It was extremely beautiful outfit, but it was too heavy. The weight was 20 kgs. I'm going to introduce to you just now the person who's going to shoot you fabulously. Girls, please welcome Vikram Baba. <laughs> Thank you, Lana. <laughs> love it and uh, to shoot with him was a is a very big opportunity today you're going to enter the fascinating world of the charming Yamaha Fasino scooter the concept behind today's challenge is you need to make yourself an extension of the Yamaha Fasino scooter okay girls you have to pose in such a way that you highlight the curves of the scooter. It's not only about you. That's a beautiful product over there, which you need to work around and give me a picture, which looks great when it's on the holdings. But the key thing to remember is that you get five frames. frames. That's it. I have done a couple of shoots before, but again, these were just five shots that we had. So I was really nervous about it too, because you never know. Even if you're confident, tomorrow you sh your shoot will turn out to be a disaster. What are you doing? It's not working for us. Girls, we're not here to waste our time. This is what it feels like. Hi. Hi, Natasha. Hello, Natasha. How are you doing? I'm good. Natasha, are you ready for your shot? Yeah, I think so. so let's see what you do. Okay. Okay. Should I go there? I'm trying to act like I Natasha, didn't Natasha, you like... know, it's like, what are you doing? You I need see. to interact with the scooter. You need to pose for the camera, you know. Come on, get some life. You can do better. It's not looking nice. Move a little closer. Yes. Use your legs, yeah. Bend the knee a little bit. When I went in there, I don't know, it just seemed like everything was sold to me where I, I could have done it on my own. Like, no, I'm not saying, the input really did help. Turn the Natasha, hand. I really want some elegance, you know, where is it? You're looking clumsy in every shot of yours. Because I think everything was being said, my head just felt too overwhelmed with things that were being said, like do this, do that, do this. So I, I think I messed up a bit there. But yeah, it did help. So sorry. Thank you. The fashion was very clumsy. No body language. Of course, the outfit is restrictive for something like, uh, like a scooter. But uh, she needs to understand both things together and get it right. Lara, I know you feel for them and you are mentoring them. But you know, guys, come on, you can't guide them so much. Hi, Arushi. Hello. So the moment I entered the set, uh, I was quite confident that I'll do well because I thought about a lot of poses to do with it. Expression. Ready? Lovely. Chin up. Just, just use the space well. Be careful the yeah. scooter doesn't tip down. I'll try. We are done. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I think, you know, her attitude is good, but she didn't understand the brief. Okay, let's have the next girl in. What are you doing? I just want to show this logo for seeing. The logo? The logo is in the front, so you can do something in the front. Mr. Vikram Bawa is not actually moved from his place to shoot us. That thing really didn't work out because I was moving around the scooter. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay, That's nice. Good. Excuse me. Why are you doing that? Don't do that. What's that in the hand? The keys. Put I the keys the back. Keys. This is not working. Huh? Of course it's not this working. Not at all working. What are you doing? What she said. This was not the task. We were not. We were not supposed to focus on ourselves. We had to focus on the scooter. So that was something which I didn't really do. Okay. It was a disaster from the moment she entered. I just feel so. I'm sorry. She could have really worked this. 
You yes. moved. Just when I was taking a shot. What is that hand over there for? Sorry. It doesn't work the way she's holding it. Bend a little bit towards me. Now towards the bike. The other hand, not on the knee, darling. The whole idea is for them to come and I pose. Know. Why are we treating Wait, them as puppets? We... She's lost. I can't see anything of your outfit behind that. Cool, sir. Lara, you know, so far I'm not seeing <coughs> that, you know, they are actually getting into the vibe of the clothes I've given them. You know, the idea is to do a very high fashion shoot. For sure. That's I, why I, I'm, I'm not enjoying the shots as it now. Well, I think, you know what I'm going to do is I'm yeah. going to go and think, give them a pep talk. Yes. Maybe that may just excite them. Just yes, go for okay. it. I think, right. that, I think they need it. Yeah. Good. Please, I need attention. I've been seeing the photo shoot, and sadly, it's not happening. I'm not getting the oomph, I'm not getting the attitude. And you know, I'm feeling very disappointed because this is the only chance. And so far, I'm not getting it right. Rocky has uh, actually came to us and uh, he did not really seem impressed. The girls were not giving much poses. The, there was no individuality in them. Hi, Hida. Hi. Hello. Do you like what you're wearing? I love this garment. I'm really lucky I got such a like beautiful garment. It's very like uh, elegant and like a red carpet dress. Let's see what you want to do. Okay. That's interesting. Looks good. Hada, it's about you. And that beautiful scooter, so you've got to use both. I don't see you using both right now. I'm using this casino first. Okay. I was pretty sure you whatever I want to give, I will give my 100%. So I know my poses, I'm a model. I know like my angle, my posture. So, you know what, for me, I feel she has some really good confidence. And for me, the picture-wise, it looked like she's gone on a red carpet wearing, uh, on a scooter, and it's quite fun. All right, next. I like that. Yeah. You know, she's got great legs. I think that sort of, you know, works in the shot, but I would have liked her to have squared her shoulders a little bit more towards us. The moment I stepped into the shoot area, I saw everything, I observed everything, and then I uh, started my posing. Can you do something else? One more? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking more. to lay down. Where? Like down. Maybe. It's like a mermaid come out of the water and... Thank you, we've got our shots. I knew it, that it's a brand shoot, but for as a model, it's very important to take care of each and every minute detail, which I think I did to the best. For me, the best shot of this entire... This, this one. It's bad. The best shot. Vikram, Rocky, you've seen all the 12 girls. I think everybody knows what we feel about yeah. how the day is gone. But we need to find, uh, you know, the perfect winner. Yeah. So we have to figure out who goes today. Yeah? I didn't feel that you guys had to connect with the brand. This is what it feels like. Girls, welcome back to Yamaha Fasino Miss Diva 2015. We have a new panelist joining us. I want you girls to welcome the beautiful, the effervescent Yami Gautam. We had a very tough challenge ahead of us today. Let's take a look and see how you girls perform. Okay, girls, you've seen your images. That was the best shot that we got for each girl today. Urvashi? Did you like your shot? Um, yeah, it was okay. Does okay really work at this stage? Are y'all taking this seriously? I wanted to walk out of that set floor today. Lara was very upset with her performance. She fired literally everybody. She was expecting much more from us because we were almost on the last stage of our Miss Diva journey and we couldn't perform well. Urvashi's shot was the best that we got today. 
but the fact that the person in the shot thinks that the shot is strictly okay, I think puts into perspective everyone's entire performance today. One common thing in all the pictures was, I didn't feel that you guys had a connect with the brand. I think it's all about fun, it's peppy, it's energy, you know, I, I felt that connect was somewhere missing. I'd like the girls, as I call them, to step forward. Natasha. Today's elimination was quite scary because I came in bottom three and that was quite devastating because I would never have seen myself to come in bottom three. Arushi. When Lara took my name that I'm in the bottoms, I just skipped a heartbeat and I was like almost into tears. Shivani. Somewhere in the corner of my heart, I knew that uh, I would be one of the bottom three. Natasha, I told you, the minute you stop moving, you need to start working on your body language. I, I really did try. I tried doing something different, but of course, I can do much better than that. I don't want to hear, I can do better. Because if you haven't done better yet, there are no further opportunities to do any better. Arushi, you didn't even notice that when you were posing for me, that you were covered by the scooter. What am I seeing? I just saw your face and a little bit of your legs. I wanted you to shoot from the other side. I mean, no, the you can't tell him where to no, shoot no, no, from. No, I'm... You cannot tell a director that you know, sir. I think that's how way you should put your camera. Or that's how you should shoot. I don't know what went wrong. Fifteen years of experience from being Miss Universe to now. I will never walk into a photographer's studio and tell him, please take your camera and go there and shoot me. It will be the end of my career. Shivani, I want to know what you think about your shot. I decided a few uh, poses, but when I was on, I don't know. I somehow couldn't uh, control my emotions. Can I look at the three of you girls today and say, this is my diva? Shivani, I'm going to have to send you home today. I respect that decision. If you don't perform well in diva, you are eliminated at that point itself. Arushi, Natasha, you can join the other girls. Maybe it was a bad day for me, so that it went wrong. But with God's grace, I did not get eliminated. I definitely can give a good competition, and I will. I'll give in my best and uh, leave the rest. Shivani, you might leave us tonight and go home, but Pune is not so far away. And I think Mumbai is going to come calling for you very soon. I felt uh, really bad uh, when Lara took away my ring and um, that uh, moment when I realized that I'm not anymore a part of Diva. The eliminations are over. I'm delighted also to announce that Rocky S will be the wardrobe director for Miss Diva 2015 and Miss Universe 2015. This is the moment you all have been waiting for. You are as ready as you will be. The next time that we will see the 11 of you will be on the final stage. From there in, one girl's life will change forever. I feel so good that I'm at the top 11. All the girls will be competing for the finale night. And let's see who wins the crown. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Yamaha Fasino Miss Diva 2015. It's time to announce our top six contestants.